For four years, families of the El Paso shooting victims have been grieving. On Friday, they were relieved to hear the person responsible for the murders of their loved ones will spend the rest of his life in prison. On August 3rd of 2019, 24-year-old Patrick Crucius from Allen, Texas, drove to the Walmart in El Paso. Targeting Hispanic shoppers, he shot and killed 23 people and injured 22 others. Crucius admitted his crimes were directed at Hispanics and motivated by his desire to initiate a race war. We think about this every day. Until we get justice, it's not going to go away. And he after reading statements from the victim's family members and members of the community, the court imposed 90 consecutive life sentences with no possibility of parole. In addition to the nearly 50 hate crimes Crucius pleaded guilty to, he was sentenced for 45 firearm violations, 23 counts of using a firearm in a federal crime of violence resulting in death, and 22 counts of using a firearm in a federal crime of violence. To be in the same courtroom with the, with the person that killed your, your family member, it's, it's hard. It's very, very hard. I mean, you sit there and you think, man, if, if, you, if you didn't do what you did, I'd, I'd have my child, you know, hold and, and hug right now. The special agent in charge, Jeffrey Downey, of the FBI's El Paso field office released a statement that says in part, although today's federal sentencing cannot bring back the loved ones lost or the innocence shattered on August 3rd of 2019, it's a step closer toward obtaining justice for the victims, survivors, and the El Paso community.